Hey guys, it's me, Ava Vagina, and we have finally made it to the finale of TDR All-Stars Cycle 2, where we're going to find out which of our top four takes the crown and becomes the new Liz. Is it going to be Antony in a nutshell, Guardi Galaxia, Lene O'Connor, or Mia Easyleigh? Hell, I don't even know. So let's jump right in and find out. Now, for your first uh, finalist, we have Miss Antonina Nutshell. Hi guys, this is Antonina Nutshell. Um, I'm backstage right now at a gig. Um, I'm going to be a judge for a competition. So you know, I've got experience with judging um, for the first time tonight. Um, I, I'm here to answer some questions for the reunion. Uh, and I hope you can hear me, even though there's a lot of loud music over there. Um, but let's do this! Yeah! Alright! And in a nutshell, from being the first ever European queen to make it as far as the top five, and smashing that reputation now, what moment in this competition made you feel proud of your perception of drag? And also, are you excited that you could also be the second crowned European queen? And I'm going to say first crowned non first first ESL queen, maybe? That's, yeah, maybe. Is that right? <laughs> what I was most proud of this uh, cycle for showing my kind of drag is that I really get to show my, my humor. Um, that I, um, I was, I'm most proud that I won GVC week because it was all talking and it was all you know, being me, but still being funny, and, and I think it was so much fun, and I, I screamed so much when I found out that I won that week, because everyone was so amazing that week, they even added an extra high score, because everyone did good, and even though all of that, I still won, so I was so happy, and that's, that's an amazing moment that I shared with my little brother, who was the one who filmed filmed that week for me, so it was so much fun. And um, but showing my side of drag, I, I think I've done that in every every challenge. But the one that I'm most excited for is I think the Animal Kingdom uh, when I did the polar bear because that's really something I want to do. I want to do something political. I want to do something funny. I want to do something beautiful. And I think I could combine all of that uh, in in that week. And um, yeah, I'm really excited that I could be the second European queen to to be crowned. <laughs> that would be amazing. And um, because there's so much drag out there in the world that you never get to see. And I, I love that I'm a part of this, that I can show you what I do. And, and yeah, please crown me. I want it. Please. <laughs> Antonina. Did you expect to make it this far into the competition with everyone quitting? And um, are you happy with what you put into the competition? Well, when I first saw who was cast in this uh, all-star cycle, I was like, fuck, I'm not gonna beat. Because when I walked into this competition, of course I wanted to win, but at least I wanted to make it past the top five, like it, uh, because I was top, got fifth place um, in cycle seven. And when I saw everyone who was cast, I was like, fuck, I will be in like 10th place or something. But um, I am really happy with what I did. And I think with um, now that we have been through with it, it all, that I still would have stayed even without everyone quitting. Since um, even when there were people quitting every week, I still scored like safe at the worst. Um, but then I scored high and won two challenges, so I still think I would be here because I never scored low before. just the first week and then nobody quit. So, um, so I think I would still be where I am today even without everyone quitting. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with what I put into this competition. I think I did it amazingly and I think I'm I'm great. Thank you. I'm great. I'm so cocky. I'm sorry. Any final or closing thoughts on TDR's All Star Cycle 2? So, some final words. Um, I can't believe I did this again. I, I had so much fun the first time I did it, and I thought, let's just leave it at that. Just, let's just remember this is a fun experience. 
uh, that has helped me grow and then I will have new adventure outside in the real world which I have I, since I since I was in cycle 7 I have been out performing I've been out hosting and just living the drag queen dream no I, I still have a lot of goals but um, but then TBR All Stars 2 happened and I am so happy that I took the chance because I've impressed myself and I've impressed um, you, I think, uh, with my growth and with my character and I, I don't regret it for one second that I did this even though it's been stressful and it's been uh, some, some drama and stuff, but I'm not a part of drama normally, but uh, yeah. I don't know where I'm going with this, and I think, yeah, it's been such a blast, and I love this community, and no, but yeah, I, I don't regret it, it's been so much fun, and thank you for all the critiques, thank you for all your support, and mwah, mwah. For your second finalist, we have Miss Garde Galaxia. Hi everyone, it's me, Garde Valen Galaxia, and I'm here for the Tumblr's Drag Race All Stars 2 reunion. So today I'm giving you my half and half face look because I've never really done one before. I did one years ago, but like it was kind of bad. So I'm doing it again in all of its glory for two reasons. One, so you could see my transformation, and two, because if I win, you're going to be able to see the reaction and coronation of the designer and the model. So I thought that would be a pretty cool dichotomy to show everyone. All right, so let's get started. Next up for me is Miss Garde Galaxia. Garde, having been a mentor to two cycles of girls, did you feel any added pressure coming back into the competition knowing you would not only be competing against girls that you had originally judged on cycles five and six, but also being judged by girls you had judged originally? Yeah, I felt a little pressured being around, um, you know, girls that I've judged, mentor, mentored, and now I'm competing with them, and I'm being judged by two, two of them. Um, the main, well, I wasn't, like, uh, like, that pressured, but really, like, the only thing that did pressure me was I really didn't want to, like, mess up. I wanted to look good, because, um... You know, when I did Cycle 5, I was, like, the one judge who wasn't... I didn't win anything, and I wasn't a runner-up. I was just kind of there. Um, so I was like, okay, so now I'm going to, you know, show the world what I've got, and I want them to be proud of me. Competing against people that I mentored before, um, I didn't feel like there was any competitive, like, hostility between any of them. You know, Trixie, Ivana, Mia, Easy Lay, Mia Moore, Robin, Sheena, Betty... I'm forgetting someone. Okay, no, Robin. Can't, Robin's on two cycles. Okay, um, like I felt like it was something I was doing with my friends, you know. Um, so it wasn't like I didn't feel any competition towards any of them. It was just like a good time. Um, so being judged by Ava and Amanda, um, yeah, it's a little bit of a pressure, you know. I mean, I wanted to make them proud, and Liz too because I competed with her, um, and I think I did. A, I did that. Yeah. So <laughs> my goal is accomplished. Um, it didn't really feel weird. I mean, they won their cycles and I didn't, so, you know, they had the authority on top of me, which was, you know, expected, and that's the same way I felt from any other judge. Uh, it was pretty cool, and sometimes I was like, I can't believe they're judging me now. It's like, what, like, I remember, like, week one, and I'd be, like, going in on, like, both of them and everything, and then now it's like, the tables have completely turned, and I'm glad that you guys, like, went in on me when I, you know, deserved it, like, that one time. Um, because... You know, when you pick a winner, you want someone who's going to be fair for future cycles, and I think everyone did a great job at that. So, yeah. Good job for all of us. For your second question, Garde, we, um, we all know that you spent a bit on your drag this cycle. Do you think that was necessary to go all the way um, to the finale in the competition? And what does the TDR community mean to you, and why... Um, would you want to come back to it? Um, yeah, I spent a good amount of money on my drag. Um, to be specific, about two and a half thousand dollars at this point. But um, do I feel it was necessary? I mean, I'm in the finale, so yes. And I feel like, um, you know, every time we had a challenge and I saw it, 
I would get thinking right away and be like, I need this, I need this, I need this, and I have this, and I would just, I have a credit card, you know, on Amazon, my, well, my friend has Amazon Prime, I'm not paying $60 a year for that, like, get out of here. So I wouldn't really think twice about the things that I bought, I was like, I need this, I want to win this challenge every week, da, 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 slide my card, slide my card, and I was fortunate that, um, I got a really good new job that I'm getting paid more than my old job, and I'm working eight hours less a week, and I'm still getting a higher paycheck, so it gave me more time to do this, and... You know, it was a lot less stress. Um, and spending money on your art is just something I've always had to do my whole life, so it's not like this is a brand new thing to me. I mean, I can, o I can always make more money, but I can only have this experience once. Um, so that's, like, the number one thing that never stopped me from spending money. And it's like, if I was going to have, like, a whole pink outfit and I only have black shoes, I, I have to get black shoes. Uh I have to get pink shoes, no. I mean, I can wear whatever I want, but if I want to win the challenge, or try to, I, you know, I gotta get things that I don't have. And, um, like, by doing that, my wardrobe, like, expanded so much. And, like, I'm looking at some of my looks right now, so I'm, like, having a reference point. Um, but those images wouldn't exist if I didn't spend what I did and, you know, went out of my way to make them and bring them to life. And I'm proud of all of my looks. I'm proud of everything I've done. Um, so, yeah, I do think it was necessary. Um, if I didn't sp like, could I have made it to the finale without spending money? I mean, other people did, right? I mean, no one else is probably gonna be asked this question, so it's probably a thing. Gardy spent way too much money on this competition. Um, I don't know, like, I need materials, and I am a really ambitious, like, out-of-the-box thinker. So, I have to, you know, go get the things that I need in order to satisfy my visions. Um, so the other part of this question is, what would it mean, what does the TDR community mean to me that I'd want to come back into it? Um, this isn't as easy to answer as I thought it would be. Um, the thing is, like, the way that I picture the TDR community is every time you look at it, it's like in a temporary face. Like, where, like, the TDR community in 2014 is completely different than the TDR community in 2016, and from this point forward, it's gonna change, because there's gonna be new girls in there, and, you know, so many more people, and it means, like, it's such a great, like, opportunity for people to really discover themselves and make connections, like I talked in my, um, Why I Should Win video, um, and it's just... It's perfect for people who don't have the opportunity or access to go out in the real world and perform. And, like, I've been thinking about this a lot lately because this past month and the summer, I've been going to a lot of shows in Manhattan, Brooklyn. I just drove back home today from Purchase in Westchester, and the drag is, like, so different everywhere you go. And it's, like, and, like, I'm just so overwhelmed with how far this art can go and that there's never any boundaries to, like, what you can do. There's no limits. Hashtag the sky's the limit. Remember my audition tape? That was my catchphrase. I mean, yeah, it's cute, right? Um, and, like, I've been thinking a lot lately, like, not what does it mean to be, like, a drag queen, not what does it mean to be a gay person, but what does it mean to be those things and queer? Because, you know, it's one thing to be gay, and then it's one thing to be queer. It's like you have to come out twice, you know? And not everyone lives somewhere that they can do that and, you know, be accepted. But on the internet, in Tumblr specifically, oh my god, the overwhelming support that you can get just for, like, one look and so many people, like, admire you instantly, it's like, I, I love this community, like, and the, like, where it can go and the opportunities that it can bring are life-changing. And it's changed my life, the people I've met, the looks I've produced, the skills I've acquired just through TDR has, like, changed my life so much, and I would not be the same person today had I never done anything with TDR. Um, so that's why I would really like to be a part of the TDR community again. Not that I ever left, but um, I am really excited to be a part of whatever new, you know, things that it has to offer in the future, um, especially if I'm going to be a leader in there if I win this competition. Um, which would be great. I'm, like, burping, hiccuping at the same time, sorry. Um, so, yeah, I think I answered the question. It's really weird that this is actually, like, my first reunion where I'm answering questions, because the Cycle 3 reunion never got posted. 
Um, so I guess it didn't count. And then five and six, I was just like asking questions. So this is like, this is pretty cool. And, and I think I'm like the only person here besides Rashandala who like hasn't been in a reunion. That's so weird. What? <laughs> and any closing thoughts um, on TDR's All Star Cycle 2? Um, you know, ever since like All Stars 1, you know, I always felt like I wanted some kind of a redemption just because I'd never got like the positive feedback that I felt like I, I don't want to say deserved because I didn't really do anything back then, but like that I felt like, yeah, I, I deserved. Okay, I'm going to say it. Um, just, you know, by existing. Um, so the thought of doing All Stars 2 was always in my mind something that like I couldn't do because I wasn't a good contestant on Cycle 3. Um, and I was always like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And I remember like maybe like a year and a half ago, just like walking to work, like with my headphones in, listening to a song and like getting creative. And like the idea of All Stars 2 and me existing in it in the future was just like, I was like, maybe I should do it. I'm going to like really have to like push myself to do it. So then when the auditions came around, I was like, all right, I think I could do this. You know, it's the summertime um, and I'm feeling creative because aside, like before my audition look, I hadn't done drag all year. So I was like, all right, let's do this. I'm ready to be Garnet again. And I'm so glad that I did because this has been a life-changing experience for me. And, I, you know, I went on about it in my um, Why I Should Win video. You know, meeting Mia Easyle, um, having Sherry Poppins as my partner for um, the Bearded Challenge, um, meeting, becoming friends with, like, Tony. Um, so many, like, positive things came out of this. And I had so much fun doing it. And I'm really thankful that I was able to, um, be creative again. And I know I bring this up, like, once in a while, that I was in, like, a really, really bad place in the beginning of this year. Um, you know, I had no inspiration to be creative, and I was so stressed out with my, my student teaching, taking driving lessons, going to college, working more than part-time. Um, and it was just, like, I was dealing with, like, such a bad, like, dark cloud of thoughts, like, constantly for months. And, you know, I'm not going to lie to you, like, some days when I would be, like, getting off the bus to go to my school and I saw, you know, it's next to the highway, I would, like, be so, I was, like, traumatized. And I'm, like, just looking at the cars and I honestly felt that, like, walking into the traffic would be more comfortable than, like, doing what I had to do with my life. And it's, like, I'm so happy that, like, I'm not in that place anymore because it was really, like, taking a toll on me. And, um, I'm really glad that I've, evolved and I even said in my audition tape like I wanted self-validation and I got it and um you know so I'm really really happy to have had this experience and I hope everyone appreciated everything that I do so at this point it seems that I've answered all my questions and um pretty good timing right it's not been 35 minutes <laughs> um so you know thank you everybody for watching and enjoying me on the cycle thank you judges for having me and giving me great critiques every week and helping me become where I am today. Um, I'm really proud of everything that I've done and I hope the judges are Team Garde because I know I am. <laughs> so thank you so much and I'm going to go now and record my inauthentic reaction to winning. <laughs> um, but I'll record a new one later like when I'm watching the reunion and I'll be like in tears. I'm so surprised that I haven't cried like at all on this cycle like in a video because I'm such a crier. Well, I guess I haven't like recorded my winning yet, but um, I'm like such a fucking baby sometimes and like this is like art and like I get really sensitive about my stuff. Um, but I've been good so far, but you know, call me back in five minutes. I'll let you know. <laughs> I'm just going to the store to the store. Bye! For your third finalist, we have Miss Lene O'Connor. Hi TDR, it's Lene O'Connor. I'm back for the reunion of TDR All-Star Cycle 2. Just a quick disclaimer. If my face looks a little bit off and if it sounds like I'm Luther Vandross, who just took a value before a live performance of Dance with My Father, it's because I am very sick right now. Like, just to give you a point of reference, I'm driving back to New York tomorrow to go see my primary care doctor because I 
feel like the personification of a dumpster full of needles that have who knows what kind of diseases. I feel like garbage. But I'm here for the reunion to answer the judges' questions because I don't think I got any fan ones. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. But, um, alright, let's get this reunion rolling. The like blood. Oh, that's a cigarette. I'm hip replacement. <laughs> Alright. Ah. Uh, can you tell I wet my brush to do the crease? With my tongue. Let's get these questions going, okay? Lene, you came into the competition during week three. So, did you feel any added pressure that you really needed to hit the ground running with that week's challenge to really prove yourself to the girls who had been in it since week one? And also, what has been your proudest moment during this cycle of TDR? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes to both. No, um... It was really hard coming in week three as a replacement. Um... At the time, I was okay with not being on the cycle. I was very okay with just being a, a watcher by. I was okay with just rooting for my favorite people. And when I got the message from Liz saying that Robin gave up her spot to me, my immediate response was game on. Because I knew that if I was going to come into the competition, I was going to have to really gun it out the game. And I did initially. Initially, I did really well for my QVC video. I got safe, which is sadly the highest rank I've ever gotten in TDR. Great. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a lot of pressure, especially because I put up a lot of pressure on myself. I said this last time on um, my last reunion, but I put a lot of pressure on myself to do as well as I can, because although I can't sew, which apparently is a problem, I'm looking at you, Garnet. Um, <laughs> I always tried to construct the best looks I could because I was not going to leave kicking and screaming. Like There was not going to be a moment where I felt that I didn't put in my 110%. I didn't want that. I wanted to be able to look at every challenge. Even if the outcome looked pretty meh, I always wanted to look at every challenge and be like, I did that. I am so proud of myself. I was able to construct that look. And I gladly am able to say that. I'm absolutely proud to say that. And the second part of the question, what is my most proudest moment of TDR? This is... <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why this moment in time is so funny. Oh, Lord Jesus. Gemini, your lip sync video is still in private. It always has been. My nails are stuck in my hair. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Okay. All seriousness, I have a 45-55 tie for my proudest moment on TDR, and the 45 is my lip sync to Cannibal during the Animal Couture Challenge, and my 55 is my Mask Challenge, um, because I put a lot of effort into the mask one. Funny story, um, I originally had planned to dance to a song called Gemini Feed by Banks, who I'm obsessed with at the moment. Um, which I'll insert a clip of that dance performance because I did film it here. But, um, yeah, I didn't like the outcome of any of the clips. Um, also, couldn't breathe most of the Gemini feed dance, so glad that I was able to go with something of an end. And that video was the first take of that song, because my friend who was helping me film had to leave, so I'm really proud of how it came out. Um, I'm a trained dancer. I've been tra dancing since I was 11, so I was just so happy that I had an opportunity to show what I'm good at. Like, I knew that in that moment, I was going to be better than Antonina, Mia, and Garnet, because Antonina, I know, cannot dance. I was on a cycle with her. I know she can't dance. Mia, her performance style isn't very dancey, so I, I figured I was going to be at least a little bit better. And Garnet is, like, the personification of white bread, so I figured 
that she would not be the most mo movement able. She was more movement challenged. So I was really happy I was able to showcase what I'm able to do and what I'm actually really good at, which is dragon dancing. So yeah, I think that's my proudest moment of TDR. Lene, um, what is the biggest reason um, you wanted to come back into the TDR community? And do you think you accomplished that goal with um, doing All Stars too? I'm going to insert a clip right now of Velma Bell's um, All Star reunion. When I originally planned on auditioning, I only wanted to be here for like a couple weeks and that would be it and then get kicked off. Alright. Um, yeah, initially I wanted to come back just to come back. Um, I was telling my mom this. I was like, I want to come back to TDR All Stars just to prove to myself that I am an All Star. And that I'm a I am one of the best in, um, in my field. At least on Tumblr. Because obviously I'm no fucking like Eva Destruction or fucking... Not even Joan Waters, um, who I love to death, but yeah. Um, but I wanted to prove that I was an all-star and that I had the capabilities of competing with the tops of the tops. Especially since I knew from pretty much the start that Boxa was probably going to be on this cycle. So I really wanted to prove that I could be amongst the ranks of like Box of I. And initially, didn't get it. Whoops. Bye. Um, and then I did. And... Essentially, if that was my goal to come back to TDR, did it, nailed it, signs will deliver and I'm yours. Um, but a part, a part of me also wanted to get farther than on my initial cycle, because I felt like towards the end of cycle 7 I gave up. I definitely felt like I gave up in the regards that I just couldn't take the pressure of TDR anymore. I had been in the bottom consecutively four weeks in a row. No, three weeks in a row, sorry. And at the point of Snatch Game, I just... And I was also sick. There's always a moment in TDR where I'm sick as a dog. Right now is that time. Snatch Game was that time. Um, Cycle 7. And... When I got to Snatch Game and I knew I was going to be in probably the bottom because of how my health was, I just gave up. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to continue. Even if my... Um, Big Ant was one of the best. I just, I probably would have quit when it came to Rule Girls Week. And that is not something I'm proud of. So I wanted to come to All Stars to prove that I can push through adversity and to show to myself that I'm able to do whatever I put my heart and mind to. And I definitely think I accomplished that during TDR All Stars. And I'm very proud of myself. Though my track record would probably be like your actual trash. Um, my heart is saying that you did amazing. You're the best of the best. You deserve that crown. And I really do think I deserve the crown, regardless of my track record. I don't think that should be put into consideration. I think, at the end of the day, I really exemplify what a winner should be. Determined, strong, and a good voice for the TDR community. And that's why I think I should win. I already touched that on that in my Why I Should Win video, so we're just gonna move on to the next question. I hope that answered it. Knowing me, it probably didn't. Do you have any final thoughts on TDR's All-Star Cycle 2? This was a shit show. <laughs> to the T, it was a shit show. But at the same time, I definitely had a great time when it comes to TDR All-Stars 2. This is an experience I wouldn't trade for the world. I definitely improved on who I am as a drag queen. I definitely improved on what I have to offer as a drag queen. I feel now super comfortable with going out into the world and showing everybody what I am capable of and what I am about. And my determination has led me here to the finale, and I'm so glad I was brought on week three. And it's just been a magical experience for me altogether. I say magical because I see an ad on Facebook that says magical video marketing, so. Um, but yeah, TDR All-Stars was a shit show, but it was a shit show I was glad to be a part of. So, I thank y'all for hearing my piece. I hope that I'm the winner of TDR All-Stars. Um, if I'm not, to whoever wins, I love you so much. Y'all are my people. I love you, Garde. I love you, Mia. I love you, Antonina. Um, but a bitch wants that crown, so... 
Hopefully I take y'all bitches down, but if I don't, congratulations to who did. Lene, out. And for your final and last contestant, we have Miss Mia Easylay. Hi there, it's me, Mia Izile, and I'm here to answer some of the reunion questions for TDR All-Stars Cycle 2. Mia, during the competition, you had to pack up and move across the country more than once. So did that ever seriously impact the quality or output of your submissions week to week? And also, since All-Stars was when you finally got that main challenge win that you didn't get on Cycle 6, what were some of your goals coming into All Stars? And to be honest, yeah, like, moving's crazy. I literally packed up everything I owned. I worked 80 hour weeks at one job and then moved to the next place. I worked in New York City at a bunch of different places sewing. But like, overall, I wouldn't have given up for the world because I got so much sewing skills and I got to do drag in fucking New York City. Um, I got to win competitions and like enter and meet a lot of great people and I really had time. But yeah, it did affect some of my submissions. Um, I know for the first week I did chocolate cake, and what I wanted to do was a birthday cake. So for my finale, finale? Reunion? For my reunion look, I decided to make my birthday cake outfit that I was going to do because I had the time to finally do it. Um, but no, it totally affected my time, but, you know, I did the best I could, and I had fun. I mean, who cares? It's all we're here for is to have a good time. And then the second question was that they mentioned how TR All Stars gave me my first win and just asking what some of my goals were going into this. Um, and pretty much that was my goal was to like win one challenge and never have to win one because in the first cycle I kept getting high and never got the win. But overall, like my goals into going into this competition literally was just to like I wanted to make things that I could wear in my everyday drag because I do drag on a regular basis. This is my job. So it's hard for me to like make something that I can't use or like find inspiration for. So luckily throughout the competition, everything that they gave us was something that I could find an outfit I could make or something inspired by. But overall, I wanted to make things that were true to me, but still like got me to step out of the box. And it was really fun because like the B outfit, I got to make this really epic outfit and try new things. And I did this crazy makeup and it's like something I didn't know I could do, but now I know I can do it. And you know, it built a lot of confidence. And I had a good time. Mia, do you think TDR has helped you branch out a bit more with your drag? Um, yes and no. I mean, I know what my makeup looks like and I know what I want to look like and I do drag, like I said, on a constant basis, like two or three times a week or more. And I'm always trying new things. Definitely there were a couple things that I really liked. Doing the animal challenge with the bumblebee was something I really wanted to do and try. Um, so I got to expand on these ideas I've been having that I don't really get to like go out and just do all the time because I'm so busy with certain things. Um, so it kind of pushed me because, you know, we have to have this mission within the week. So it kind of pushed me to go, okay, well, even I can't do my absolute best, I'm going to do something. And then weeks where I had the time, I was able to do more and work harder on it. Um, you know, it was a big, it was a big, 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 big season that ended very quickly because everyone quit. But, um, but no, overall, there's definitely things that helped me out. And I'm not going to change. I'm not going to, like, I didn't stray away from Mia at all at any points. You know, I listen to the critiques, and I try different stuff, and you know, we're all have fun. And any final thoughts on TDR's All-Star Cycle 2? Um, my final thoughts would be that overall, just have a good time. I just want to say thank you so much to the judges. Um, thank you for the TDR community, the internet community, drag community, whoever else. Sorry if I forget you. And you. You. Thank you. Um, oh gosh. You know what? Have a good time. Don't think. To, don't take things too seriously. You know, I'm a very like self-hating comedian. You know, I make jokes at the expense of my weight or how I look and all that stuff. You know what? Who cares? Have a good time. If you can't laugh at yourself, how are you gonna laugh at other people? Right? Um. You know, that's about it. I had a really good time, and I want you to make sure that you guys know that you know, love yourself, have fun, try new things. And in the end, kill your parents. I want to say, uh, before we get started, that I'm extremely proud of the top four girls. 
and any of you, uh, any of you could take the crown, and I, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. I didn't know it was in frame. I'm like all the way over here. That's fine. <laughs> Anyways, sorry for the interruption. I'm not gonna edit this out. Um, I think you all can take the crown and do great things with it, and I am so proud of each and every one of you, your guys' growth in the competition, and let's see who takes the crown. Now, before we announce the winner of TDR All-Star Cycle 2, I want to say um, I'm so thankful for being a part of this community and everyone being so patient with me, and I really appreciate that. Um, I think now with this closing, it's... Um, my time to kind of leave the community for a bit and kind of, I don't know, relax, I guess you could say. Um, I've been a part of this since cycle two and um, I was, I've been, in, like I've been involved here and there since then. And I think it's my time to finally retire and um, let, um, you girls, um, the new girls handle it, and I can't wait to see what new things you have, um, I'll always be on Facebook or anything if anyone needs me, um, and with that said, um, I'm Liz, and I'm gonna make you jizz one last time. Now, the moment you have all been waiting for... The winner of TDR All Stars Cycle 2 is Miss Antonina Nutshell. Congrats on your win, dear. Uh, do you have anything to say? Oh my god. <laughs> thank you. Oh my god. Yes, <laughs> thank you very much. Jesus, have mercy on my soul. Um, wow, I, I, I won, um, thank, thank you, I, I keep on saying thank you, but this is so much fun, I'm so excited, ah, ah! <laughs> um, thank you very much to the judges for picking me, I, I'm gonna make you proud, I'm gonna show you that you made the right decision by being a great queen and a great um, part of this community for a long, 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 long time, and oh, I want to say thank you um, to my family for supporting me all the way, and especially a uh, big thanks to my little brother who helped me film the QVC week and also helping me um, record voices for my mixes. Also to my mother who also helped me record her voice so I can use in, uh, in some challenges. Um, I want to thank my dear friend Emma who helped me uh, take pictures and film me and also who was, she was my makeover. Um, and yeah, thanks to all my friends who have been keep asking me how, how, how is TDR going? Oh, I hope you win. Um, it means so much to me that you all are interested in what I do and don't think I'm a freak, but I am a freak, so get used to it. Um, thank you to the community, thank you to, I don't know, everyone. Oh, I'm so happy, thank you. Ah! <laughs> My name is Anthony Nashell and I'm TDR All Stars 2 winner. I'm Tumblr's next drag superstar. I'm an all-star. I'm, I'm a good queen. I am a good queen, and I can say it with, without any doubt in my voice. I am, I'm great, and I love you. Thank you. I just want to say congratulations to Anthony in a nutshell. Watching you grow from Cycle 7 into All-Stars 2 and finally to the Final Four and then winning it all 
your growth has been so astounding. You have never backed down in the face of adversity. You have given your all in every single challenge, and you really strove to show both fans and judges alike who Antonina Nutshell is. You are such a genuine person. You are such a kind and giving person. And I'm so happy that you have finally gotten this. I know that you have so many great things planned for the future of TDR, and I really hope that everything that you wish for really comes to fruition. And I know there's so many people, both past and present, who want to see you succeed. You are just a wonderful person. I'm so glad that you got to get your start on TDR on Cycle 7, and I'm so glad that I've gotten the chance to know you. So congratulations, baby. I love you, girl. I would just like to congratulate the winner of TDR Cycles All Stars 2. This cycle has been crazy great, and the work that you put into this competition has truly paid off. Congratulations, and I hope you do well in All Stars 3. Stay tuned for Cycle 9 updates at tdrcycle9.tumblr.com. Bye for now, All Stars, and congratulations again to all our finalists. So I just want to extend a huge thanks and gratitude to Linnea O'Connor, Garde Galaxia, and Mia Easyleigh. This finale was probably the best finale TDR has ever seen. All four of you put forth such great concepts and executed such beautiful looks that it was really hard to call at the very end who was going to take it. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. You all stuck by it through thick and thin, and you really strove to prove why you deserve the win. And I know all three of you are going to go so far with your drag because you have so much passion and love for it. And I just want to extend a huge thanks to Liz, of course, I mean, Queen Liz, who put together this cycle and helped stand by it through all the mess that happened. I also want to say thank you to Lilla. Without you, me and Liz probably would have been up the creek. You really pulled your weight and you really helped create and maintain this cycle. So thank you so much. So that's it for All Stars. And again, congratulations to Antonina. I look forward to watching what happens in the coming cycles and stay tuned for cycle nine. All right, guys. I love you, and see you later. All right, now we heard from our winner. Um, I'm really proud of you. Um, I think you will uphold the title very well, and I can't wait to see what you have to offer. Um, and again, congrats, Miss Antonina. Um, you're an all-star. Uh, and that concludes our segment of uh, All-Stars 2. Goodbye, y'all.